it's time to create a new variable and it will be the variable of type number. I close provider tf, I don't need it. Open the variables tf, write variable. The name will be policy underscore count. The type will be number. The variable is ready. Go to main tf and here copy the existing policy, paste it below. That's the new policy. I will zoom out. That's it. Rename the policy to policy number. That's good. That is it. I will add something like count. Just write it. I will explain later what it does. var dot policy count. The count it accepts numbers, so your policy, your variable must be of the type number. Next, what does it mean? If, for example, policy count is equal to, it means Terraform will create that policy number two times. If it is four, the Terraform will create policy number four times. I remove this comment. In the name, I can use the variable as a part of the string. So I write policy number dash dollar curly brackets and inside curly brackets I write count dot index. So count is this variable and index is the number of the resource created. So it will be, for example, it is equal to the index first will be zero. And the next index will be 1. If I write here 4, I will have the index 2 and the index 3. So in total, 4 indices. Remove the comments. Update the policy description. It will be policy created with variable number index dollar sign curly brackets and here I write count index plus one. So I will add one to every index to have number one, number two, number three instead of zero, one, two. Let's scroll down. Policy JSON is without changes. I will just remove the comments to save some space. And the tags are creator, terraform and that's all. Only this change in the line 27, in the policy name and in the description. Let's run Terraform Apply and deploy it. Terraform Apply. It asks me for the policy count. First time I will write zero to show you that nothing will be deployed. It also asks me for policy description. I will just copy it from here, from the previous run. Copied it, passed it, enter, and you see zero resources to update. Let's clear the terminal. Write Terraform apply again. For the policy count, I write two, so it's going to create two policies. For the policy description, I write, oops. I have to pass description man from manual input variable. That is it. And look what is happening. Two resources to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. The first resource is index one. And here is index zero. So I will just move it a bit right. The policy name, oops. The policy name is policy number with the index zero. And here you have one because it is zero plus one. Scroll down. It is again policy number with the index two because one plus one is two. But the original index from the policy name is one. Path is Terraform tutorial. 
no changes in the policy JSON, and the tags are creator terraform. Let's apply it. I write yes. You see here it created policy number with the index 0 and policy number with the index 1. Go to AWS to confirm that the policies were created. Refresh the page. Filter by type customer managed. You have policy number 0 with the description index 1 and policy number 1 with the description index 2. I will open, for example, the number 2. Go to tags. I see here the tags. And in the policy JSON, I see my policy JSON. Let's go to VS Code and commit the changes. I'm in the Git module. I open main TF and I see that I edit policy number. Let's commit it. Add it to the stage. In the variables TF, I edit policy count. Add it to the stage. And if you noticed, a new file was created, Terraform TFS TF state backup. That's this file. So it's a file. When I deploy Terraform, every time it takes the current content of the Terraform state and creates a backup. So this file, it is the content of Terraform state before I run Terraform apply again. So if you run Terraform and something bad happens, you always have the backup from the previous state. I don't want to commit it, so I will add it to git ignore. Here I write a new line, terraform.tfstate.backup. Save it. Check git changes. You see here I updated git ignore. Add it to the stage. And that's it. Three files in the stage. Git ignore, main tf, and variables tf. Let's write the commit message. Edit number. I forgot the space. Input variable. New line input variables. Let's commit it.